So your boyfriend, partner or husband has recently broken up with you. That's really tough. I'm sorry. You may be thinking that you'll be alone and lonely forever. That doesn't have to be true. Yuma and welcome to Connection Espresso. I'm Phil McAuliffe. I'm the loneliness guy. And this is Espresso number five. This is a mini podcast designed to give your mind, your soul and your heart a quick connection boost as you, a beautiful gay man experiencing loneliness, go about your day. Let's get into it. Hello, YouTube. Lovely to see you again. Thank you so much for joining me for this short episode. Um, I hope that if you are in this situation where you've just, um, uh, like someone's broken up with you, uh, that you find some um, comfort and inspiration from this episode. Okay, before we get started, as always, I wanna do two things. First, I wanna acknowledge and pay my respects to the elders of the Ngunnawal people, elders past, present and emerging, and acknowledge the Ngunnawal people as the traditional owners of the land upon which this episode was recorded and uploaded. I want to extend and well, I want to extend that acknowledgement to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples listening. Secondly, I want to acknowledge you, you awesome listener of the podcast and viewer on YouTube. I want to recognize the courage that you have shown in pressing play on this episode. Because, well, the truth is that very few gay men look for content on loneliness unless they recognize that they feel lonely. This is a big step. Pressing play can feel like so much more than just pressing play. So I see you, I recognize you, and I just, whoa, I recognize and just honor your courage. My friend, in perhaps some gross understatement, it's never fun to be on the receiving end of a sudden breakup. That breakup can be the end of a, of a romantic or sexual relationship. It could be the sudden loss of a job or the sudden end of a friendship. Suffice to say, the sudden and unexpected end of an important relationship is tough and it can be really devastating. This situation can have us asking all sorts of questions, usually why and what went wrong? Where did it go wrong? All the way through to what did I do? What did I do wrong? These questions are the hardest ones because we're unlikely to ever get an answer. So in the absence of answers, we can, well, make them up. For humans, including gay men, who are feeling lonely and are experiencing loneliness, the logical answer that we could arrive at, all too easily that we could arrive at, could be that we're not good enough for a relationship. We're not worthy of a relationship. We're not worthy of a friendship and we're not worthy of a job. Indeed, the answer that we can get to really quickly could be that we're not worthy of love or belonging, not worthy of love and belonging. Well, my friend, if you've reached that answer, I'm here to tell you categorically, clearly yelling it from the rooftops if it didn't damage your speakers or headphones, that is not true. You are worthy. You are enough. Your worthiness can never be under any doubt. It is a question that, well, it's an issue that's never up for question. You are and always have been and always will be worthy. So while the breakup you're going through is undoubtedly and undeniably tough, when you're ready, I invite you to consider the two thoughts I'm about to share with you. First, 
The connection you need and deserve in life can't be forced or can't be sourced, I should say, from outside yourself. What others provide is in addition, can only ever be in addition to the connection you provide yourself. And secondly, connection to self starts with learning about yourself, understanding and knowing yourself, and then committing to, this is the hard bit, committing to being yourself, doing you in the world. It's not easy. I'm not here to say that it is easy. Indeed, this is the stuff of life, but I promise you that it's worth it because when you're connected to your authentic self and then commit to engaging with the world around you from that place of genuine, unashamed and unapologetic authenticity, all the connection that we have that is external to ourselves, all the connection that you have that is external to you will be more genuine than you're currently experiencing. Now, if anything that I know that you're worthy of is that you are worthy. You, 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 you. I'm speaking directly to you. You are worthy of that soul-nourishing, toe-curling, bloody awesome type of connection. So, final question. Are you ready to learn more about yourself and get the type of connection that you need and deserve as a beautiful gay man? I'm right here to serve and support you when you're ready. I'm right he when you're ready. That's it for this espresso. Be sure to check out all my work and services destigmatizing loneliness and promoting authentic connection for gay men globally. For gay men exactly like you, yes, you, through my website, thelonelinessguide.com. Remember, we're not meant to endure loneliness alone nor are we meant to endure it for long. And know that we are, that you are worthy of receiving the same love and support that you so freely give to those around you. Please like, comment and share this episode so it reaches more gay men experiencing loneliness and lets them know, just as you now know, that they're not alone as a gay man experiencing loneliness. If this episode inspired you, made you think, or otherwise supported you, please tap on the link in tap on the link in the show notes to buy me a coffee. Your financial contribution will go directly to growing the loneliness guy and help me reach more gay men wherever they're experiencing loneliness around the world. I thank you most sincerely in advance for your generosity and ongoing support. That's it for this episode. So thank you for joining me for this espresso shot. Until next time, take care of yourself, Yara, and enjoy your day.